excited about seeing this thing emerge. I want to see if this works. Okay. Vacuuming in the background there. Pardon me? Is that James vacuuming? No, it sounds like someone's sitting out in traffic. I don't know who that was. Not me. Right. I heard, did you even hear that, John? No. You got weird. Okay. All right, so we're looking at John's screen here and we're recording. Not hearing that, John? Huh? No, I don't hear anything on my end. I can hear it. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll mute me. Maybe it's me. Okay. So, um, I don't think I can really mute, but um, James, we can mute you. So we know it's not your fault. If it's... Let's see. I'm muting yours, John, for a second. You me? Okay. Oh, I think it's John. Oh, well. That's right. We'll work. It'll work. Cool. So I'm not sure what's... I'm in my kitchen, but there's nothing... Um... No, I know. It's weird. It might be your line or something. Okay. Anyway, so you want to learn how to use the SLS X spreadsheet utilities. Yeah. Is this, uh, is this already recording? Yes, it is. Okay. So, um, but thank you for asking. So sure. what you've done so far, if you could just review for us as you went back and you found the... All right, so I've got the, um, I've got the plugins. You got the uh, Wiki 5.14 pre-release. Right, James uh, sent me a reply and told me how to uh, go about installing them, which is simply just dragging and dropping. So I've got the XLS spreadsheet utilities. Yep, and my graphic there wasn't clear enough, huh? Highlighted in red, the things to drag and drop, but oh well, I tried. <laughs> well, that that was, um, he, he replied to my email yesterday. Days ago. Okay, got it. Yep, so you got them both, the JZ Zip wrapper. Right, right here. Yep, okay, good. So you're set to go. So let's take a look at your spreadsheet. Okay. So here's the spreadsheet that, um, that Timeline JS gives you. Um, they, they give it to you as a Google spreadsheet. Uh, the only way that I could make any use of it for this project was just by downloading it, which converted it to Excel. Um, but row one is the information that they populate and then rows two to infinity is what, what, you, what I would populate in order to create my timeline. So here are the rows and the headings that they provide. And you can use as many of them as you want. I primarily used um, from A, which is start date, to um, G, media caption. Uh, I think the only other one I used was type, and that was to designate uh, the first slide as my title slide. Otherwise, I didn't use that column at all. And I didn't use tag at all either. I didn't know. Uh, this was a couple summers ago. And um, it looks like since then they've beefed up their descriptions online for what these cells do. But it looks like this could be used uh, for whatever you wanted to. And in fact, I was looking at their documentation today and it kind of looks like they have an updated spreadsheet from when I used this two years ago. But anyway, it's got all the content that, um, that I used to populate and to create the timeline. And I assume this is what I would be in some way, shape, or form exporting um, from the spreadsheet into TiddlyWiki. Um, well, technically you're not exporting, you're actually going to import. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, right. <laughs> um, okay, so you're in Excel here now, okay. Yeah, I, I could. Um, it's fine, it, it's, just, it's easier to do it from Excel at some level. I'm, I've just gotten so used to Google Sheets that um, some of the things I just find annoying, so. Um, we're good. Um, okay. Why don't you hide? Um, let's format column A. Okay. By clicking on the A and um, 
And then you should have a date format somewhere. Mm, come on. Um, it's a date format is yeah, date. And um, scroll down. Hmm. None of those are particularly good. Well, let's just let's run it as it is and see what happens. Okay. Okay. So um, so push that over to the one side of your sheet. And over on the other side, you've got your wiki. And on control panel, XLSX utilities. Oh, it's, up at the, it, it's the fifth tab in the control panel, or sixth tab. Yep, there you go. So I've already got it pointing to that spreadsheet. Did you type that in? Yeah, I did that this morning. Okay, I don't. That was what I was doing. I was looking at Jeremy's. Um, yeah. Let's, try, let's delete this workbook. Okay. And add a new workbook. Okay. And give it. Hit that. That's weird. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, maybe sure. that'll work. We could probably just rename it, right? Yeah, you name it in the... Yeah, I've never used that name field, so... I don't think it matters, but okay, that's fine. So give it a caption, you know. I, I don't... Yeah, I don't know what... I don't think that name title gets used, so that's fine. Yeah, so it's going to be one of the others. And let's add a new sheet. And give it a sheet name in the import sheet name. Just leave those titles blank or as they are. Okay. Yep. And what's the sheet called? The sheet is uh, called content. Yep. Okay, so type that in in the import sheet name. Not in the title, in the sheet name. There you go. It's all right here. Okay, so I'll just replace sheet name with content. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to add a new row. And so what a row means is every time it comes across a row, it's going to do something. And so what's it going to do? You want to add, you want to create a new tiddler uh, and add some new fields. So add a new field. And I always suggest you start with the title field. So you set field, field name. Let's change that to title. Go down in the pink, that field, field name, call that title. And you want to you wanna set it to the string that comes from column what? Uh, so title would probably be equivalent to headlines so of yeah. column C. Now you type in the name, column name, headline, capitalization counts. Yep. And if it happened to be blank, you'd like to skip this because you don't want to create a blank tiddler. So click that little skip. Right, because as you can see right there, there's a blank one. Mm -hmm. Although, what is that supposed to be? Well, I can play around with that later. I have a feeling that is actually important. Oh, it's definitely important. <laughs> we'll skip it for now, though. We'll see what happens. Yep, and you, you're prob we're going to go, yep, okay, and then let's add another new field. Okay. And now we'll just go straight across those columns. And that, what do you want to call the field generated from start date? Call okay. oh, date if you want, or start date, whatever you want. All lowercase, no spaces, just like fields in TiddlyWiki. Oh, OK. Yeah, so let's just keep it the same, call it start date. Does, uh, does it need to be, um, does it need to have a space, or does it have to be continuous? Um, no spaces. It can have hyphens. Okay. I can leave it as is. That's fine for me. And instead of a string, you want this to be a date, I believe. Okay. And from column name, what? 
Uh, that would be start date then. So that needs to be the same, yeah. Yeah. Oops, start. Yeah. Okay. And I assume we want to skip this tiddler one blank. Well, that can be blank. Uh, there's a blank one right there. Yep. Same row, so I don't know what's happening to uh, Ike. <laughs> He's going to go bye-bye, I guess. Um, don't, you don't skip that one. Only that because you can have a blank date. You only want to skip it if there's no title field. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, keep going. Oh, uh, so then we just, okay, I see what you're saying. You just do the same thing for each row then. Each column. Right, so we'll make this, or a column, yeah. So we'll make this one. No, 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 Okay. You're working from the top down. Put that, put title back. Oh, I see what it does. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I'm so used to having something new drop in at the bottom. He changed it when I complained about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one needs to be end date. Yep. Yeah. And okay. it's to date. going to be date from column. And that will be end date. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Okay. I already had headline. All right, let me click on Excel here. Okay, so now it looks like the next one is text. Okay. Now, if you call this text, it will put it in the field called text. So why don't we just call this description? Okay. Not there? This is a special field in TiddlyWiki. Okay, so do I, do I want to type over field name? Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay. And it's from the, yep, it's a string. Yeah, and I would like to see that in the description, yeah, so okay. Okay. So now the, the last column that I have is the interesting one, that's media. And in the timeline, the media just falls right underneath the text. So, well, we're going to put things where we want them, but they all come in as different fields. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I'll just create a new one. Um, we'll call this, I guess we'll just call it media. That'll be a string, and we'll pull it from media. All right. I think that's all I had. Because, well, actually, I know I have media credit and media caption. All right. Those. What was it? Media credit, media caption. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to bother with the title one. Okay. I'm sorry, what do you have in title? Well, title for the spreadsheet, uh, for the timeline, all you put in there is the, whichever one you want is your, like your title slide, the very first yeah. one. Yep. So I don't think I need to do anything with that here. Okay. So now you can um, finish editing in the pink. And let's look at, oh, you know one thing we should do, and I forgot about this, edit again. Do you want to tag these tiddlers? Yeah, so let me, um, let's see, yeah, let me scroll down to my journal. So I wrote this up this morning. Um, I think I have a one, two, three, four, five, categories that could possibly be tags um you know either going kind of like your your paul blay example there with years or decades then i could take the actual historical events uh then the life events from my father's timeline yeah that's a different use of tags um 
scroll up and let's just tag, create, add a new field called tags. Uh, here? Oh no, okay, here. Okay. And let's, instead of a string, let's set it to a constant. I'm sorry, to string constant. And let's call each one of these an event. Okay. And then we'll go back to substantive tags in a little while. Is it case sensitive still? Yeah, it's a field. Well, yeah, it's a tag. It's it, actually it's not. This is okay. this is your own word. So okay. do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Now you can save. So scroll up and close the pink. Okay. And let's take a look at what you've built. So what we're going to do is every row, reading from the bottom up, it's going to create a new tiddler. The title is coming from headline. The field start date, end date, description comes from text, media comes from media, et cetera, et cetera. And every tiddler is going to be tagged event. OK. OK. Um, so that's good. So scroll up and save the yellow. Finish editing in the yellow section and finish editing in the green section. And I like to save here. I think it's really important to save this. So you have to save the wiki. Where's the top there? Hey, let, me, uh, let me maximize my screen so I don't think we need the spreadsheet anymore. There we go. Okay, and now you can import. So click on the, and where, where do you have, you know where that spreadsheet is? Yeah, it's 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 up in uh, Google Drive. Okay, the one that you were just the XLSX file. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. This spreadsheet is in Google Drive. This this that file we were just looking at. Yeah. Do I need to close it? No. So go ahead and import. Okay. Paperclip. Yep. Why do you still call it a paperclip? But. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not exactly the. Uh, what, no, what's that called? I forgot. Not an oxymoron. It's a, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, up dog. Okay. Oh, we forgot something. Scroll down and you have to select, um, do the pull down on this is the import specification, the next. Ah. Yeah. Yep, you got to select that. Point it somewhere. Okay. And now the paper clip again. and it's gonna import a bunch of them. There they go, very nice. Oh, okay, cool. And let's um, import. Okay, pick one to look at. And so I'll scroll down and let's edit that tiddler. All the is in those fields. I'm sorry, what was that again? All the data describing this tiddler are in fields. Oh, I see. Okay. In fields. Okay, so if you go over to Design Right Studio, search for template. Take any one of them. Take cycle template. I like that one. And drag that over to yours. Right out of, yeah, you can grab it out of the search, search again. No, don't, don't. Yeah, search. There you go. Yep. And drag it from there. Yep. Um, I don't know if that doesn't. No, no. Go back. Uh, do it. Yeah, get back. Go to your. Go to the. the Close that one out. Yeah. You have to drag and hold it. And bring it, yeah, now bring it down. There, wow, there we go. And import it. And let's add it cycle template. And, and so you can get rid of my, get rid of the stat tag, but not the other one. The other one is critical. So let's look at the code. You keep, okay, so this filter is current tag, not cycle, but event. Um, 
I don't know. If, I think it's lowercase me. Oh, you're right. Yep. And I don't think you care about the sort right now. So you can get rid of the sort. Last, yeah. Keep going. Um, now you got one, two, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now you're gonna say, okay, every time I come across a tiddler that's tagged event, do everything after me. Okay, so it's gonna do a lot of transclusions then, yeah. Well, we're gonna get rid of all that stuff. Oh. <laughs> I just, that first line, that's, I can never remember the is current, I can't remember that, so I always drag and drop it. Okay. So, okay, so you can get rid of that whole rest of the line now. Starting from here? Yep, you can get rid of everything. All the way to the, keep going all the way to the bottom, except stop at the, um, go up a little bit more. Stop at that last HR. Keep the last HR in there. There, get rid of everything. Okay. So what this does below the HR is those double carrots make the really tiny little text. Oh yeah. And we're gonna make a link to replace that with um see where it says cycle template. Actually you can get rid of that whole line. Um yeah, we just wanna you wanna keep that. You wanna get rid of well, you wanna keep that. You wanna get rid of every you wanna get rid of the stuff above it. Okay, you want to get rid of that, and you want to get rid of that link. Keep the, keep the carrots. There you go. And change, change the name of your template from cycle template to event template. And then change it in the name of your tiddler as well. Oops. Okay, so. Now, what would we like to see for an event? Let's put the, um, let's scroll down to your Japan and French Indo China. What do we have? Let's get a description. Okay. So, copy the name of that field description. You can just grab it, I think. Don't copy that. And looks like, by the way, your start date didn't come in, but maybe that's the one without a start date. I don't know. It might be. Well, no, it should. Yeah, so we'll fix those things. Yeah. Um, so, and right after this filter, paste, um, just hit on the next line, yep, and paste. But we don't want just the word description. We want the value of the field description. So you want to transclude the field of the current tizzle. So when you hear transclude, you think curly braces. You hear current tiddler, you think double exclamations. And you close it with the curly braces. Okay, good. And you've, got two, you've got an extra set of carrots down there on the very bottom there. Oh, right here? Yeah, oh. Just get rid of the extra set. There you go. All that does is build a link to your template, which you'll see in a second why you want it. Okay. Okay, so close this tiddler. And close the Japan invade French Indo China tiddler. Close this one too? Just save it, yep. Okay. Don't look at it once you save it. Okay. Ah, look at that. So that's the description. And now you can edit the template. There's conveniently a link to it right there. There you go. So go ahead and edit the template. Yeah, so that's why you, I, so I put the name there just so I can get to editing. It's a little debugging. No, I like it. Yeah. Let's check every field. So let's go down and do, do you have a clipboard buffer in your life yet or no? Oh, I don't know. Probably not. No, you never, you never did the copy, copy, paste, paste tool, huh? No. Well, now you're going to miss it. So go down to the Japan and friend, edit that tiddler. Copy and paste each of the fields that you created. End date, media. You had a clipboard buffer. You go copy, 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 and paste. Uh, yeah. Nice. No, I don't think I have that. Okay, where are we going here? Yep, right into your template. So, uh, right after description. 
Um, hit return, or let's put a break in there so that we know what it is. Um, double returns is not going to create a new paragraph, so you got to put a, you have to hard break it. It's a, yep, there you go. And then put your next field. Okay. And then do this. Yeah, then we're just going to repeat this process. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you need a clipboard buffer. Yeah, I'll look for one. <laughs> Whoops. Personally, I like the breaks at the end of lines, not at the beginning, but that's up to you. It's easier to see what you're doing. Copy that whole line while you're there, the media line. And do like three of them. Yep. There you go, that's enough. Now you can go grab a word and replace the word. Yeah, that's easier. Oh, it's just media caption, media credit. Oh, there's start date. Okay. Yep, so there. Media caption, media credit, start you can, date. You can copy and paste it. Okay, that's fine. Yep, there you go. Okay. Yep. Yep. You can close it. Yeah. And let's look at that one. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Okay. So you're missing right. up. Yeah. Um, one of the things you can do on your template, just so you can help you if you're debugging, because there's a little debugging to do. So go ahead and edit the template again. Uh, there's a link to it right on the bottom, but yeah. And just, oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. Just put the name of the field in front of it, followed by a colon, so like description or DES or something, so you know what values are coming from what. So in, before the curly braces. the end date didn't come out. No, nope. I don't think there are any end dates. So now on, under the event tag, you should have another set of events. Go to another one. You don't have to edit them, you can just look at them. Oh, okay. So none of your um, none of your events are work. None of your start dates are working. Let's see what else. <laughs> My father has no start date. He's, he certainly he doesn't have an end date yet. So, but interesting, his start date didn't come through. <laughs> none of the start dates because um the dates are not being picked up. Yeah, something's up with the format. It must be the date format or something. Yep, exactly. So I, I could I could play around with that. I'll see what I'll, I can figure. Out. I can probably figure that out. Okay. Now those are all. Click on that link, that media link. Very nice. Oh, those are not nice links. No, but what I'd actually like to do is I'd like to have the um, image right in the tiddler. So that's something I might have to play around with. I'm going to show you how to do that, but that is, that's not a terrific link. Um, uh. And I'll see the, for timeline JS, it needed to be linked to Flickr, 
and with video it needed to be linked to YouTube and with sound it needed to be linked to SoundCloud so uh, it just worked with those three tools but for this purpose I can you know do something different no 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 it's per it's fine so let's go back to your wiki and let's see what we can do with that so edit your template again again you got a link on the bottom of every one and um for media, um, it's um, it's a little HTML here will probably work the best. Okay. So right in front of the curly braces, you want to, it's a, it's a open angle bracket, IMG space SRC equals. Um, space, IMG space SRC. Oops, sorry, yep. And then a quote, I believe. Yes. And then a, the, after the curly brace is another quote. And then a close angle bracket. Let's try that. Might work. You never know. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, yes, it did. Sort of. Oh, no, it didn't. Um, we'll click on that. Linger over that. Let's see where it's going to. Uh, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> um, try to right click on it. And um, copy image location. And in a new tab, in a new tab, paste. So let's see where it's, where it's going to. Okay, so um, can you close that green or drag down or something like that? It's oh, I see what it's doing. It's um, huh. uh, I got to remember how to do the images. Can you go back to your wee tiddler? Sure. The image is um. And let's edit that field. It's an HTTP, isn't it? Why doesn't that work? HTTPS. Copy, that whole, copy that whole thing. Okay. I'm sorry? Oh, is that the whole link? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's not an image link. Right, it's pointing to something in Flickr. So what I probably will need to do is put all my pictures in uh, probably a separate repository and just link to them from there. Which well, Flickr you know, works. Let's go back to the image on Flickr. I'm not sure if I have it open anymore. I can't see. You've got, you got some image yeah. open on Flickr. That's good enough. And um, um, scroll down on that image, I think. Flickr is down below. Um, Let's see what else do we have. Um, maybe you can click off that X. Is there, is there something behind that? Never miss a post from John. Scroll down. Um, Flickr's made it hard to get to their images. Um, try showing the X. Oh. Do that download, yeah. Um, you don't want to download them. Um, I don't remember how to get the images from Flickr. Try doing a right click on the image. Yeah, they've, they've, locked, they've locked that down. Go to view page source. You can grab the code that way. Yeah, that's like, you might as well just say, you might as well just save them. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Um, Flickr, I mean, it's actually really hard to get a, a servable URL from Flickr if you don't, unless you use the API. Um, try to share the photo. Oh, there's your link. That's not a link. Do the embed. That's closer. Grab that whole thing. Okay. Paste that in a new tiddler.
Yeah. So, um, and there is a, do you see the um, SRC? There's the code. There's, that's what you need. Just the image um, SRC equals. That's all you, you know. You just need the yeah. You got the wrong images. You don't even need the width and the height. So just right to here then. Yeah, and it starts with the HTTP. You don't need the image SRC. Oh, okay. Yeah. See that those those are that's an image link. So copy that. Okay. Um, go back to your tiddler that we were working on and replace media, the media field with that. And save that and let's see if it works now. Uh, Almost, right? <laughs> um, right click again on that and copy the image location see if we're getting any better. Nope. <laughs> Are you sure to be saved that tiddler? Because that's the same thing we had before. Oh, I didn't save um, this one. No, I'm fine. You need this one saved? No. Uh, well, it looks like this one was saved. Let me double check. And that's the one that we paste. That's the one that we just repasted. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Go all the way to the end of that. Pardon me? The end of the media field. Okay, that should work. And when you save John Freiberger for third born, it's a dead image, huh? Dead image, yeah. Um, that's weird. Right click on that one more time. Okay. And copy image location. And hey, oh, you know, maybe this is. Uh, yeah, let's look at it. So images are a little tricky sometimes in getting them to import. So you, let's go back to your spreadsheet, or to your Flickr. Flicker right there, the John Jr. Flicker. Yeah, I can't see it because of the zoom there. Is. Oops, hang on. Um, just minimize here so I can see. The, uh, the zoom tools were, were blocking my view. Yeah, and close this and do a download. And put the download in your, um, there you go. Any, that's going to be huge. Uh, yeah. I'll go with, uh, there we go. I'll go with me. And um, save it. You don't want to open it. You want to save it. Uh, yeah. Let's do it again. And you want to create a new directory in your... You put it in, you can put it in images, that's fine. That's got some meaning. Yeah, I was just saying, because I'm not going to know what, what that is. There we go. Okay, so now, um, in your change media for this one to whatever you called it, the john3.jpg, I think. Yep. And save that, and now let's edit the template. And on the media line, SRC 
equals, um, I think it's going to be, quote, dot, dot, slash, Right, because we're building a relative link. Slash, yes. In another slash, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. It doesn't. I think that's right. Yeah, it's a little tricky transcluding media. I mean, yeah, transcluding images. So. Hmm. Go over to design right. Do I have any images? Yeah, I do have cars. Cars. Let's look at this tiddler. Well, I think I dragged these in. Yeah, if I remember correctly, for this ex for this exercise, you had us just drag them right in. Yeah, I will. Um, you got to remember how to do the images. Um, well, this is certainly a good enough start. I can yeah. I can certainly keep myself very busy bringing in the other fields and uh, tidying up like the start and end dates. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll even figure out how to bring them in. If not, I'll just, you know. Oh, no, I wouldn't be able to bring them in the, uh, the way you showed us in the first example because uh, we're transcluding everything. Well, you wouldn't have to. You could just bring them in and you could just reference them. That's what it's thinking. It's thinking that you're, it's thinking they're local images um, there's a way to do it and I've got it done somewhere and um, um, if you go to design right in photo wiki so at the um, if you search for photo wiki photography wiki there it is uh, my example uh, which one? Um, I four. <laughs> this is template. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> click on respondent two fifty two. And let's look at the code for that. Probably going to be nothing in it, but let's look at it anyway. So that's pick, pick 252. Okay, so you can close this. And let's see if I had good technique then. Do I have a link to respondent template on the bottom? I do. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, see where I've got the set? There it is. Oh, up here. Yeah. Pick. That's not good. That's a different way to do it. Uh, that's how I did it, huh? Oh, well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have each picture in a different each picture is actually referenced as a tiddler on its own. Yeah, that's probably what I'll have to do. And that's, that's what we learned in um, one of the first two exercises, which, you know, I can certainly do. I'm, I'm well, it's not... easy to do because, in fact, I'll show you how to do it. Um, go back to your, to your wiki. And I know you have to leave in two minutes, so. Yeah, I got a couple more minutes. Ah. So go to your wiki. Yeah, hang on. The, the Zoom tools are blocking my view again. There we go. And go to the SLSX tools. And um, 
and close the pink. And open the sheet, edit the sheet, yellow. And add a new row. Add a new field. And let's set the title. You said set the title? Set the field name title. No, by field, you're right. Set field name title. And this is going to be string from headline. String from column, you're right. String from column headline. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's prefix it with pick hyphen. Okay, and then add a new field. And set the field text, which is the body of the pick the, the to string from column media. And um, so what that will do, and you might want to tag this, add a new field called, add a field called tag. Constant. Uh, media or something. Okay, you're done now, so you can close the pink. So that will add another set of tiddlers. That will be pick headline, tag media. That's how you get your pictures as separate tiddlers. Okay. So it's that logic, that thinking through of what can I do? I can slice and dice my columns in different ways. And that's what's really cool about the XLSX. Input. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite powerful. So you can like slice and dice and play. Yeah. So yeah, so um, probably the best thing to do would be to grab each of your Flickr picks Okay. Put them in your local repository. Okay. And you know, and then change your spreadsheet. You never want to ed don't edit your tiddlers in your wiki. You always want to edit them in the spreadsheet. And then you just report over and over again until it's right. Okay, so I'm just going to be changing these uh, links to whatever I name the uh, pictures. You just add a new column. Insert a new column. So you don't have to get rid of the old ones just in case you ever lose them or something. Right. Insert a new column and call it local image name or something. Oops. So now what's going to be interesting is, um, and, and then we can discuss this at another time, but how, I, uh, how I'll handle the uh, YouTube links and the, uh, I just saw one, there's a SoundCloud one floating around here. Yep. It just, uh, where did it go? Anyway, there's a SoundCloud link in there too. So those would be a little different, but I could probably. Well, you add a new column called type or media type. Yeah. And you differentiate them that way. And you can use the contents of that column as a tag. Yeah, so I could create a new column and just call it YouTube and put the links in there and another well, one called. Call it YouTube and then put the YouTube links in the media links. So you, you know, you just have to. What, it, what you're doing is you're separating your data from, you know, you're now importing data and manipulating it in TiddlyWiki, but you want your spreadsheet to be as pure as you can. And you ideally, any corrections, you're always making your spreadsheet, not in your wiki. Because you yeah. know, a situation where you can't re-import your wiki. When you import these, it overwrites your tiddlers. Oh, okay. So, not your template. Right, just the just the tiddlers, yeah. Just the tiddlers, which is fine because there's nothing in them other than fields. Right. So it's that like, wait a second, really? Okay, yeah, there's nothing in my. That's why you look at a lot of my tiddlers and they're blank because they're, everything's driven by templates. Yeah. And templating is like the last of the hypertextual techniques that we introduce in the class, and you've now mastered templating. <laughs> I don't know if I've mastered it, but uh. Yeah. I've, Decent understanding. <laughs> right. And then you can, um, if you wanted to create like a timeline of these, I'm not sure we can make it move like a timeline, but we can, 
if you go through the uh, projects, there's something in there about a slideshow. Yeah, either that or just something navigable. You know, they they could. My my thought was the the user could use the tags to bounce around, however they want to, instead of going in a you know chronological order, scrolling through the slides that way, like it does right. on timeline JS. So um, add some add some more columns that will have different types of events, different places the events take place, but put your data in the spreadsheet. Yeah. Okay. Fields, and then you use that data to create tags and navigational opportunities. Great. So oh, that's very cool. This is very exciting. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fun project for uh, IDT five five three, and it's uh, should be it should be neat to to see how uh, it renders in TiddlyWiki. Yes, and that's I really like the idea to to take the same data and render it in different places because that's kind of if you ask me that's what information design is increasingly about is repurposing existing data, rendering it differently, and getting additional value from it. Yeah, and I kind of like the look and feel of your, um, the navigable essay example you had with the, with the colored blocks instead of the tabs. That's kind yeah. of what I had envisioned for this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how to replicate that. I mean, I can look at your code, but I think you even said that was... That's not my code. That was my bastardized code. So yeah. I'm going to try to get back to that um, and, and move through that a bit. So anyway, so but you've got, um, I'm glad we're able to get together a little bit here tonight and get you started here. Yeah, no, I really appreciate your time. Um, hopefully there's time for somebody else to come on online now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, John. Yeah, thank